what's the term I'm looking for? The, the piece de resistance. The piece de resistance. The piece of resistance. Um, the testicles. Oh no. Hey guys, welcome to Stir Crazy. It's like a podcast for your eyes. My guest today needs no introduction. It's the man, the myth, the legend, Will Ferrell. Hey, Will. Hi, Josh. Was I just being lazy by not actually listing your accomplishments and giving you a proper introduction? Now I feel guilty. Well, you did take, yeah, the, the briefest route of an introduction that you could because the accomplishments are, you know what though? Let's not get into them. They're exhaustive. <laughs> How do you like to be introduced? Do you prefer big time movie star, comedy god, Teen Choice Award winner? What do you What do you go with? <laughs> Is there a Teen Choice Award? Oh yeah, somewhere in that house there might be. A oh, there, there there must be. Um, I well, I really prefer uh, Doctor Doctor Farrell after my uh, honorary doctorate at USC uh, two years ago. So, Doctor Farrell, are you able to perform surgery at, at will? Like, what can you do? As, as far as I know. Yeah, an honorary doctorate pretty much gives you uh, all the powers of a regular doctor. So prior to quarantine, I had a whole mobile sur surgery unit in the back of a van that I just you know drive around Southern California and offer elective surgery, and That's you know it's great kind of learning on the job experience. That's the way most doctors do it, from what, from what I got. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get, you gotta just jump in there. Get your hands dirty. Yeah. Do your kids find your characters funny? Like, are they? Is this the one house? on the planet that doesn't find Ron Burgundy at all amusing? They've kind of grown up with a uh, relatively discerning eye. No, I think they do, uh, but they're not um, obsessed with me on any level. It's more of a, I get a little pat on the head like, that was funny. Yeah, I hadn't seen that before. Good, good for you. Um, <laughs> a, con a condescending sort of. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all right, huh. I liked it more than I thought I would. Uh, you know, we, we've always made it a point never to, uh, uh, in fact, if they want to watch something I've done, they have to bring it up. Uh, in fact, I, sh I, I probably, that's probably a mistake. I should have forced them to watch every part of my canon. Can I call it a canon? Of yeah, that, that's the humble way to refer to one's career. <laughs> my, sit down. Let's have canon time. Yeah, or uh, oeuvre. Oeuvre time. Yeah, oeuvre. There's one question I've always wanted to ask a guest, and I've never asked a guest this question. I've always wanted to ask this. Yes. Well, where are your prosthetic testicles? Well, it's funny that you should bring that up. In preparation for this interview, I was, you know, strolling down memory lane. I do have, um, from when I uh, made four appearances on The Office, I, I did keep my Dundee Award. That's pretty cool. That's very cool. I give that a major cool award just for uh, having the award. Then I have my uh, my Channel Four news ring from Anchorman. I don't know if you can see that. I can see that. That's more uh, valuable than like a World Series ring. That, That's that, exactly. In fact, a lot of Major League Baseball players have asked me uh, for my Channel Four. This is my. Um, this is Ricky Bobby's uh, uh, helmet for the Wonder Bread car. Uh, Talladega Nights. You have a giant head. That looks gigantic. Does it still fit? It's a pretty big head. God, it should still fit. It's a bad sign if it doesn't fit anymore, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. That looks really comfortable. Uh, it actually is more comfortable than you would think. Yeah. Then this is, this is an extraordinary one. This is from SNL. This was from a Robert Goulet sketch. And this <laughs> was Robert Goulet's version of a, <laughs> his own cell phone. So here's the antenna, but it came complete with a pocket knife sure. on the side. Naturally, yeah. And then the cell phone component is right inside the skull. <laughs> See, it's right. That's... Bear with me. No, please. I have all the time in the world for this. <laughs> Look at this. See? Look how convenient it is. Yeah, no, that's... <laughs> you could walk around the street on that with that and just look totally normal. <laughs> very... Right. It's very portable. And then the, uh, the, of course, what's the term I'm looking for? The, the piece de resistance? The piece de resistance. The piece of resistance. Um, the testicles. Oh, no. Yeah. I, I wanted to see them, but now I regret saying I wanted no, to see them. you can't turn away. I can't. I'm, look at me. What are they? Yeah. Uh, 
Can you turn them around? I want to see the every. Sure. Yeah, every. Every. Wow. Were those modeled? Do those look much like your actual testicles? Yeah, that was like a that was three two hour sessions of having to sit in the chair, um, having my testicles photographed, uh, diagrammed. <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, well but you'll, do, you'll do anything. You'll do anything for, for your art. Yeah. Uh, speaking of doing anything for your art, congratulations on your new movie. It's hysterical. Eurovision Song Contest, The Story of Fire Saga. The name just rolls off the tongue. <laughs> yep. I would venture that there's no actor that's had more insane costumes yep. in their career than you will. <laughs> Yes. And this movie is like the ultimate in that. This is the Citizen yeah. Kane crazy costume movies. I mean, your costume, it's like, it's like a, you're like an extra in Thor, basically. Like it's, <laughs> right. how comfortable is that? Is this your backdoor audition for a superhero movie? Like what's, oh, what's that like? Please, thank you for putting that out there. Um, <laughs> Marvel, I'm ready. Volcano Man that you're referring to. Uh, was literally shot on the last day of filming in a what are literally known as the lava fields just outside of Reykjavik, Iceland. It was absolutely freezing. <laughs> um, and there, Rachel, poor Rachel McAdams uh, out there, at least I had fake armor on as right. a Viking, and she was just in very wispy light, you know, just barely some material on her as as we were dancing through the fields there. But uh, we just kept laughing that day, going, this is the most fun way to finish a movie, is to shoot a bad slash good music video. Right, it'll please the fans of Will Ferrell to know that once again, we see a lot of your body in this one. You're yeah. Never, you're never shy about- You don't about see show so much. You see, you, yeah, there's one, yeah, you see some, yeah. I mean, never enough, I'll put it that way, not okay. enough but a fair amount. I mean, I, I feel like I've seen more of your body than Brad Pitt's body over the years. Yeah, for sure. Is that your gift to the world? Is that something that you Well, in? at first it happened because we, we just thought it was funny and my body looks bad. Um, and it was a great go-to move. <laughs> then I could tell it was starting to irritate people and so now it's more of just a piling on and it's, 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 uh, so it circles back around to being I, fun again. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if you've looked at stuff I've done the last five years, there's been less of it. I've, right. I've, I've made an effort to kind of pull it back a little bit. Uh, but that having been said, I, I, I do love, uh, showing off the fact that we shouldn't be ashamed of, uh, and, and more to just piss people off who, who are like, why does he keep doing it? I didn't feel like you had the original dad bod. Like, you yeah, were, yeah. like you're an athlete, and not yeah, every I, athlete looks like... I, uh, ran, I ran six miles yesterday. I'm not kidding. I believe you. I've run three marathons. Um, granted, the last one was in uh, 2002. Okay. <laughs> but... <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I, it's funny when, when I was on stage at the Groundlings, I just remember thinking to myself, okay, there's going to be people that are just as funny as I am. There's going to be people who are funnier than I am. Right. Um, you can't control that. Um, and, but the one thing I can control is no one will ever out commit me. Uh, and if that <laughs> means being in a sketch in my underwear, if that means, you know, and I, I was, I immediately was like, let's do it. But that's what, why are you in comedy if you're, if you're worried about that stuff? It, it's good to catch up with you, Will, even in these bizarre times. I'll take what yeah, I can get at this point. I've been told, I got a phone call from Robert Goulet's severed head that we have to wrap, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's come to life. You might want to look into that. That's look gorgeous. at the detail, even from behind. This is a well-made prop cell phone. The funny thing is I have the same exact thing of your head in my bedroom, oh, but I'm not going to show oh, it to you today. I had heard that they were selling those, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, what can you do?